The Lysosomal Storage Research Group is dedicated to patient care, education, and research on the diagnosis and treatment of lysosomal storage diseases. Lysosomes are small intracellular organelles occurring in the cytoplasm of all cells in the body. They contain a multitude of enzymes which together have the capacity to break down a wide variety of macromolecules including nucleic acids, proteins, lipids, and polysaccharides. The degradative enzymes function best in an acidic environment and the interior of lysosomes has a pH averaging around 4.5 to 4.7. Each of the enzymes contained in this acidic milieu of the lysosome recognizes a specific type of structure that may occur in one type or class of material being degraded. The products of the lysosomal digestion, including amino acids, simple sugars, nucleotides and other products, are recycled back to the cell for reuse in the synthesis of new cellular components. The enzymes inside lysosomes can be divided into several classes. One, for example, are the lipases or lipid hydrolases which digest complex lipids such as phospholipids, glycolipids, triglycerides, cholesterol esters, and so on. The glycosylases digest complex carbohydrates to release simple sugars, and the proteases digest proteins to produce small peptides and single amino acids. The nucleases are involved with the digestion of nucleic acids. Phosphatases and sulfatases release phosphoric acid and sulfuric acid monoesters. When one of these enzymes is defective or missing, it results in deficient processing of the substrate, which in turn leads to the accumulation of the relevance substrate within the lysosome and ultimately within the cell. The distribution of the accumulating material determines what organs are affected, and in turn, how it produces disease. The diseases are known as lysosomal storage diseases because of this storage of the substrates of the defective enzymes within cells. The lysosomal storage diseases are generally classified by the accumulated substrate. The mucopolysaccharidoses are involved in the accumulation of mucopolysaccharides, lipid storage disorders, sphingolipidoses, glycoproteinoses, and so on are all classes of diseases in which particular types of substrate accumulate. There are more than 40 diseases currently classified as lysosomal storage disorders, each resulting from a specific genetic defect resulting in an enzymic deficiency and the accumulation of substrate within lysosomes. Our research group endeavors to make a contribution to the study, care, and treatment of lysosomal storage diseases.